Hi guys. So today I'm going to be talking to you about how to use one of U of T's multiple libraries. Um, for the past two years, I've worked at Kelly Library, which is over on the east side of campus. And it astounds me how many students don't know how to use the library properly, whether it's because they've never been in a university library before, or they're used to libraries with dis different systems. So today, I'm going to try and help you guys out. So first of all, you use your T-card that every student at U of T should have to take out library books and make hold on library books. And you can use your T-card at any of the multiple libraries on campus. Next, let's talk about how you can find your library books in the library. So the U of T system uses both an alphabetical and numerical system. To start off to find the book, you have to go to whatever floor or section of the library has the letters that are on your book. So let's say you would have uh, two books you're looking for, letters um, AP and then M. You would find AP before M because AP comes before M on the alphabet. Once you find your books in those sections, then what you have to do is follow the numbers. So AP 512 would be before AP 28. And then you do the same if there are decimals involved. Bigger decimals will be after smaller decimals. Some last helpful advice for you guys is um, different designations for different items that can be in the library. And those will usually be identified by different colored dots that you can find on the items you would wish to take out. For example, blue dots are usually identified as books or items that are for course reserves, which um, a professor would put on reserve at a library for members of that course to have uh, first come, first serve access to those materials. Um, orange dots are usually for um, books that are on DVDs, so for a different format for people that maybe have different learning needs. And then finally, the yellow dots will um, be on reference books. So these are, you know, atlases, uh, dictionaries, um, different fact books, but you can't take them out of the library. You can only use them within the library, but that doesn't mean that they can't be very, very helpful to you guys. Okay, guys, so I hope that everything that I've said can help you guys out for your next library visit. Um, visit multiple libraries, find out where you feel comfortable studying, what kind of libraries have the, the materials that would be useful for you, and ultimately just get to know your library staff like me, because that's what we're there to do. Help you guys make your library experience as fun and easy as possible.